Hello everyone, Gifted Soul here. So this is a general monthly zodiac sign reading for Earth signs. That will be Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Just a general overview of your month, what to expect, what to focus on, how to handle the month, a brief love message, that type of thing. Um, so I am using the Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. I am usually using Angel Tarot by Jane Wallace for this particular spread, but um, it is a deck that I left behind at my mom's accidentally. Um, so Energy Oracle. I do, this is one that I've used in the other spread. So the same deck there, but um, for the love message, I left my Romance Angels deck at my mom's also. So for love, we'll be using Psychic Terror Oracle by John Holland. So as you already know, I have the cards already pulled. Um, so this is general, is Zodiac sign reading. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates and leave the other message for another time or just throw it away altogether. Um, so anyway, let's get started. So, Ten of Swords. Let's see. Two of Cups. And Healer of the Ages, card number 51 in Reversed. So... Just give me a moment to really tune into this to see what I feel. So this kind of goes along with, um, I think it was the water sign reading I did. There is a water sign in here with the cups, so yeah. Um, and I say that because that one was also talking about a need to let go of something or someone of the past. I see a lot of people still are very much focused on relationships, and I do, or romantic relationships. I do, however, feel that some of you are needing to end a business partnership as well not necessarily romantic but a business partnership for most of you uh, for some of you it is love that you are needing to end or it has already came to an end and you're in the healing stages and it's kind of not going the way that you would like it to go um but for the most part there's an ending of something coming for you this month, whether that's a relationship, a business partnership, um, maybe a friendship. There is something involving another person that is about to end, or if it has already, you're trying, you're in the beginning stages of healing, and it's kind of a lot harder than you expected. Um, so... Interesting. If you are not a water sign, even if you're not a water sign, I do encourage you to watch the water sign reading because it kind of matches up with this one. Maybe you're dealing with the water sign energy. Uh, maybe you have water in your cusp or somewhere in your natal chart. Uh, yeah, so I'll go check that out. Um... Healer of the Ages is also about health and vitality. I do try to stay away from health concerns with my readings, but however, sometimes they do come up anyway. Um, so in reverse, it talks about feeling like you're out of sorts, feeling like things are upside down. Um, some of you may even be having some physical problems you're trying to heal. Um, and I just feel like this month being a month of I'm feeling more so anxiety, depression, but it, that's also physical though because it can mess with your physical health. Um, 
However, it's something that once this thing ends, whatever it is that's needing to end, it's kind of going to push you in the upright position and it's going to help you heal um, properly and more efficiently. Um, there are also deeper levels of healing that are needing to be addressed. Um, worry about healing you first and not someone else at this time. But for the most part, um, even if something isn't ending, this is saying that something needs to end if it's not going to end. And like I said, that could be a relationship. It could be a business type of thing. Um, it's something that is putting a toll on your health, pretty much. And with... Ten of Swords and Two of Cups combined, it is a partnership that you really don't need. So if it's not to end, it's telling you it's something that kind of needs to, you know, go. So um, so let's do the uh love message. So Psychic Terror by John Holland. Normally I would use my love uh romance angels deck, but I ended up Leaving it behind by accident. Also, if you have already ended something recently, um, this could be just saying that your healing stage is going to be prolonged um you're just going to need more time to yourself pretty much and not overwork yourself so art signs love message So victory and success. So that's a good message there. So whatever you're going through in your love life, whether it's negative or positive, I would say that this is a positive omen for you, obviously being that it is a card of success and victory. Um... With this trumpet, though, it kind of puts me in the mind of the judgment card. So, it's like a lot, it's something to do with the past. Not necessarily that it's coming back up into your life or that you're thinking about it, but it's something that wants to present itself for some reason. Um, but whatever it is regarding your relationship that you need to be fixed, I feel a great um, amount of healing here for that relationship. And everything's going to come together slowly but surely. Um, I'm feeling like most of you are single and possibly hung up on someone for the most part. Or... Um, you're in a relationship, but this person isn't giving you the focus uh, and the attention that you want. Um, but for the most part, that's going to change. There's going to be a lot of recognition. You're going to be like, did something hit this person in the head because he's acting like I want him to act right now. So, but yeah. So your love message looks good. Um, but with these two, Ten of Swords and Two of Cups combined... There is something that is about to end or needs to end for the sake of your health and vitality. 
so that you can have that victory and success. That's what I'm getting from this. So I wish you love and light. For a more personal reading, do contact me directly at giftedsoul777 at gmail.com. I do respond within the day of um, your message. Usually I check my email around the clock since I do do psychic readings for a living. Um, Um, I do have a waiting time for orders. I am about to have a winter sale soon as well as a free love reading giveaway. So if you'd like to know more information on how to participate, do contact my email address. All contact information and everything is in the description box below. Um, so, yeah. So that was it. I wish you all love and light. And hope to see you soon.